In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to run the dime normal A-gap blitz that Abram used in the MCS Man 24 Zero Chill Challenge. Now this blitz is one of the better blitzes in the entire game, and we actually broke this down several weeks ago in our Patreon. If, you haven't, if you're not a Patreon member yet, if you've not become a member yet, it's only $10 to do so. It's gonna get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks, and I really believe it's gonna help you become a better Madden player. So if you wanna sign up, the link's gonna be in the description down below. But essentially what the dime normal does a really good job of is it's kind of honestly like, um, it's, it's to a degree it's very similar to 4-3 even 6-1 because you have four down linemen, you have a de dedicated user, but the benefit of dime normal is instead of linebackers, you have slot corners. Both in alignment and in position, they are significantly more impactful in the passing game. So what we're going to do to set the splits up is we're going to go into our coaching adjustments here and we are going to turn auto flip off. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the DB blitz at zero, but we're going to flip the play every single time. From there, all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defensive, our pinch our defense. We're going to crash our defensive line down. And then you can make whatever adjustments you want to make from a coverage perspective. You can just take the uh, right side slot corner and put him in whatever zone that you want. From there, you just want to kind of back your user back out, kind of in this area right here. You don't want to be, you don't want this bar to be over your head when you're trying to get the A gap. You actually want to be back now. Um, and essentially, as you can see, you're going to get these disengages up the A gap. It's not going to come in every single time. I really think in this year's game, there's really not a blitz. Like you're going to get pressure, but it might not be the exact way you thought it would. Um, so that's kind of important to uh, just understand in terms of where you want your user to be. But here you see there's that disengage kind of trying to come in up the A gap. One of the things that I found uh, that I do think makes a little bit of a difference is the side of the center in which you hang, you kind of hover on. So like right here, we hover on the left side kind of guaranteed the edge pressure. What you wanna do is you wanna kind of be to the right. If you're to the right side, kind of in this gap right here, you can obviously blitz your user as well. I do think that'll help. And essentially what you're gonna do, kind of get out there. And obviously we've been running this blitz for a little while in practice mode, so it's a little bit less effective. But let me show it to you again. And again, you can do whatever you want from a coverage perspective. So like, you know, we want to scissor the left side um, and then we want to, you know, have the curl flat over there and kind of lurk the, uh, lurk the tight end certainly could do something like that and let's see if we can get the blitz to come in and we do get the edge pressure unfortunately we're not getting the a gap pressure kind of interesting um i do think this blitz a lot of blitzes this year they work they work a little better in practice mode. I'll actually talk about one other thing that we can do to make this blitz a little bit better. There you see there's that A-gap. So you see how Parsons kind of comes through the A-gap. Um, the other thing that we that I forgot to mention about this is kind of an underrated adjustment. So if you just if you just pinch your D-line, um, you don't really have to, you don't have to press, you don't have to pinch your linebackers. So you could just come out and pinch your D-line, crash your D-line down. And then if you take a look here, we're gonna actually man align um, or whoops. We're going to man line and press. Um, the reason we're going to man line and press is on the right hand or the left hand side. It's going to move that slot corner in just a little bit more, which will make that, as you see right there, it makes that A gap a little bit better. So that is one little adjustment that, um, you know, that you can do to make this blitz better. It's a, it's a subtle little thing, but it, it, it can certainly make a little bit of a difference. And... If not, we'll just send the edge pressure. I do think the edge pressure um, is still very good. Even if you don't get the A-gap pressure uh, and you get the edge pressure, the edge pressure, the edge pressure does do a good job um, of kind of just, you know, helping ensure that at least we're going to get some level of pressure, even if our glitchy, quote-unquote, A-gap pressure uh, doesn't come in every single time. So I uh, really like this defense. I think it's one of the better blitzing. It's, it's one of the better blitzing based defenses in the game right now, because even if you don't get the a gap, you're going to get that edge pressure. You essentially, essentially are going to get the same edge pressure that you would from like a DB fire too, but you're also going to add in the threat of an a gap disengage blitz up the a gap. So really, really a big fan of this defense guys. Abram obviously looked by far the best player on the field and uh, well deserving of his uh, MCS title. Hope you enjoyed this little breakdown. Again, this is this is what I think he's doing. I'm not 100% sure. You'll have to talk to him about that. But from what I could see in the film, it was just simply pinching your defensive line and then um, – and then you could uh, slide this guy in. I do think that helps. I think the more that you slide that guy in, the better. As you see right there, we get the A-gap a little bit cleaner. So, And there's some other strategies that I think he was doing um, to kind of get that guy in a little bit more. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind.
But uh, anyways, the main thing, crash your line down. I would always stand over here to the right. And uh, yeah, you're going to be humming at people. Thanks for watching the video. To become a better Madden player, join the Patreon. That's where you get access to everything that I do. All of my offensive and defensive eBooks are in there. And pretty much everything that I've learned about Madden is in there. So if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, $10 to sign up for the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description.